Oh, uh, hey, hey, Lori, how you doing? Hey, I'm doing good, Brian. How are you? Pretty good. Pretty good. I uh, well, I'm pretty happy because I just worked out all the conical equations and did a synthesis. Uh, found out the scientific explanation for astrology. Do you share? Well. Okay, well, you know how sound resonates in like a pipe, like a pipe organ, and uh, radio waves resonate in microphones and things like that. Tell us about the pipe they organ. Have, uh, pipe organ, what's a big tube, copper tube, and it resonates sound. And so, whenever you have anything like a, a microphone has a coil inside it that resonates the RF waves, the radio waves and uh, MRIs have a coil in them, guitar pickups have a coil in them. I worked out that the DNA is similarly a pickup. It picks up neutrino frequencies. Okay. Things we, neutrinos are something we don't know much about, but they send the signal that our DNA is picking up. So no longer is our DNA just something in us that is pre-programmed for us how to be, we are receiving the signals from all the stars collectively. What signals? Go into that. Well, when you're born is very important. Uh, the date you're born is very important. Why? Uh, because that every coil is issued on a certain date and it's initialized on that date. And that's the positioning of the stars on the day it's initialized, your DNA is very important. And so when I did all the equations, uh, did a total calculation, uh, it proves almost without a doubt. See, Einstein was the first, he said energy equals mass, right? And then John Wheeler at Princeton said energy is information. And see, I took that and then use the equations for receiving a signal just assuming that our DNA is a receiver of neutrinos and I found out it perfectly lines up with everything and it aligns up with astrological predictions and things like that in what ways? And the question is how did the ancients know about it? Uh, well you know any th time you know the date uh, where the stars are is the signal, you know, you're receiving signals from stars. Uh-huh. And uh, on that date, and that determines how you're going to be because your DNA is something that was made on a certain date itself. In fact, did, did you come and see the crop circles today? No. Tell us about the crop circles. Okay, well... Here on 11 11, I mean 111 this year, uh, these crop circles formed. That's when they peaked out, and you know, now they're a little beat up. They're marsh circles, actually. And uh, this is where the star men land. Star men? Yes. My neighbors told me about the star men who land here, and they bring, you know, over the centuries they've seeded different you know, people and things and animals, but yeah, that's right. what they tell me about. But one day I'll tell you all about that. Okay. okay. Well, thanks, Brian. Thank Do you, you have any parting words of wisdom before we go? Uh, just remember, there is a scientific explanation for astrology. Thank you.